who can best answer the basic questions related to human existence or reasons for survival our life our emotions our death can science with its meta narratives answer these questions or will the upanishads answer it science does not even look into these questions science is considered rather science is concerned only with the objective world science does not look into the subject you are the subject the ego is the subject who exists the ego exists all existence is for the ego because all existence is only for the one who experiences its own existence the body does not experience its own existence so the real existing one is the ego take an example when you are in a coma or take a less severe condition even when you are just unconscious the body is still functional but do you exist will you say you exist well others can say th- that you exist because right now the others are in a healthy state of consciousness so even your existence can be verified at that stage only by others but if you are asked do you exist would you say yes forget about responding to others to yourself do you say that you exist do you feel that you exist no you don't the body is still intact the organs are still functional but you do not really exist so existence has to do with consciousness and consciousness has to do with the one at the center of all consciousness which is the i sense hmm the i ego science does not look into that therefore it's futile to expect science to answer questions relating to human existence the purpose of existence why we are why we are restless hmm? these things science won't go into the upanishads yes definitely if you go to the upanishads then the ego is all that they talk of even though the knowledge contained in upanishads is called brahma vidya yet essentially what the upanishads explore is the nature of the self right that's uh, what you must figure out if you want to lead a healthy and liberated life obviously uh, science is wonderful and if you want to know about the material world if you want to know your surroundings then uh, science is uh, indispensable and if you are interested in knowing yourself then it's the upanishads that you must go to